Joy calls for Trump to resign and defends Franken, audience hits her with nasty surprise. Joy Behar is the biggest hypocrite on TV, and she proved it once again as she mused over the new allegations against Senator Al Franken. Joy's hard pressed to defend her good pal Franken, and she launched into a tirade, blaming President Donald Trump and claiming that he must resign if Al does. She also called Bill Clinton's victims tramps, and her audience responded by slapping her with a nasty surprise. The View has got to be one of the worst shows on TV, but somehow, they are still on the air. No one with common sense watches the liberal hags, except when they get into the headlines, usually by saying something so outrageous people are rightfully disgusted. Joy Behar is one of the biggest offenders of this type of public slandering and she is at it again. Joy Behar loves Senator Al Franken, describing their relationship as good friends. So naturally, she has no filter when accusations and actual pictures emerge of Franken sexually harassing young women. She went on a tirade equating the actual evidence, the picture of Franken groping Lee Antwilin, to the bogus women who were discredited after making allegations against then-candidate Donald Trump. If Al Franken has to resign, then Donald Trump should resign. There were 16 women who said he assaulted them, screamed Joy, as the liberal audience looked on in horror. A few clapped nervously. Even most liberals know what happened to President Trump was a timed political shakedown, orchestrated by the Hillary Clinton campaign. Out of the 16 women who professed that Trump had sexually assaulted them, only one, Summer Zervos, has a lawsuit, and it's a joke. Of course, Gloria Alred is behind it and acting as her attorney. Zervos is a deranged restaurant owner living in Huntington Beach, California, who hotly pursued Trump via email. He ignored her. Where are all of the other 15 women who accused Trump? Gone. Even Alred couldn't find one string to tie any of them to Trump. So, when Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg give Al Franken the innocent until proven guilty diet drive, no one is buying it not even their snowflake audience. The hosts were excoriating Roy Moore, the GOP candidate from Alabama, who has sexual allegations against him that seem political-timed, and they wanted him to drop out, no questions asked, no investigation. Only today, The View hacks attempted to defend Democrat Senator Al Franken's sexual assault accusations, suggesting that he shouldn't step down, while simultaneously suggesting that GOP Senate candidate, Roy Moore, should drop out of the Senate race in Alabama, reports 100% fed up. Watch the clip below, as they defend Franken, even though another woman has come forward claiming the Minnesota senator grabbed her butt, while her husband took a photo. America's decided Behar and her leftist cohorts were way out of line in their assessment. Clearly, they will defend any Democrat, as they spit on Lee Antwiden's testimony, saying, well, she didn't want him, Franken, to resign. Joy went on to downplay Franken's sexual assault on Tweedon, stating, he called for an ethics investigation, that's more than Trump ever did. Is she completely out of her mind? An ethics investigation? That's really cute. What in the world do we need to investigate when it comes to Franken? We have photographic evidence that already shows him sexually assaulting a woman. To those who say he wasn't touching her, I say, how do you know that? Tweeden herself believed he did that and more. So, simulating a sexual assault and taking a pic of it for the world to see is not criminal? Really? The other glaring difference between Franken, Trump, and more is this, Franken is already an elected official, he is a sitting United States senator. Trump is not, neither is more. Who thinks if a photo like that showed up of President Trump today? Joy and her crew would be calling for an ethics investigation. I wonder how Robin Williams felt about nasty Joy grabbing his genitals? Sadly, since he committed suicide, we shall never know. Joy and the rest of the hags on The View better be careful. Their audience may be liberal losers, but the majority of them are women. Women tend to draw a line when men are accused of sexual harassment. As a woman. I at least want proof that makes it clear to me whether the allegations are credible or not, no matter the political affiliation of the man accused. Today, 
Idiot Joy Behar and her merry band of leftist losers found themselves getting awfully close to permanently offending the majority of their audience. They see what Franken has done, and when Behar dismisses it and laughs it off, it reminds us all of her words less than a year ago about what Hillary Clinton should have said to Bill's victims. I would like to apologize to those tramps that have slept with my husband. Maybe she, Hillary, could have said that, suggested Joy as she laughed her butt off. Joy Behar is hated by half of America, and the other half is starting to see the liar and horrible human being she truly is. Is.